Og originating with nomadic cultures of Tibet, China, Nepal, Ladakh, and Central Asia. Names and etymology. The Tibetan Mastiff, also known as Dukai, reflects its use as a guardian of herds, flocks, tents, villages, monasteries, and palaces, much as the Old English band dog was a dog tied outside the home as a guardian. However, in nomad camps and in villages, the Dukai is traditionally allowed to run loose at night. The guardian type from which the modern Tibetan Mastiff breed has been derived was known across the ancient world by many names. Pot Kukur in Napoleon's Pot means someone from Tibet and Kukur means dog. The Chinese name for the breed is meaning Tibetan Mastiff dog. In Mongolia, it is called Bangka. The name Tibetan Mastiff is a misnomer. It is not a true Mastiff. The term Mastiff was used primarily because it meant big dog. Early Western visitors to Tibet misnamed several of its breeds. The Tibetan Terrier is not a Terrier and the Tibetan Spaniel is not a Spaniel. A better name for the dog would be Tibetan Mountain Dog or, to encompass the landrace breed throughout its range, the Himalayan Mountain Dog description appearance. Some breeders differentiate between two types of Tibetan Mastiff, the Dukai and the Tsangkai. The Tsangkai is also referred to as the monastery type, described as generally taller, heavier, and more heavily boned, with more facial wrinkling and hoar than the Dukai or nomad type. Both types are often produced in the same litter with the larger, heavier pups being more rare. Males can reach heights up to 83 centimeters. Dogs bred in the west weigh between 45 to 68 kilograms although dogs in the upper range are often overweight. The enormous dogs being produced in some western and some Chinese kennels would have cost too much to keep fed to have been useful to nomads, and their questionable structure would have made them less useful as livestock or property guardians. The Tibetan Mastiff is considered a primitive breed. It typically retains the hardiness which would be required for it to survive in Tibet and the high altitude Himalayan range, including the northern part of Nepal, India and Bhutan. Instinctive behaviors including canine pack behavior contributed to the survival of the breed in harsh environments. It is one of the few primitive dog breeds that retains a single estrus per year instead of two, even at much lower altitudes and in much more temperate climates than its native climate. This characteristic is also found in wild canids such as the wolf, 